I'm Cynthia and I'm a PhD student at the John Curtin School of Medical Research. I've been here for three years and I'm studying immunology. Hi, I'm Vijay Bhupalan. I'm pursuing my PhD research in the Gardner Group at the JCSMR ANU. I'm Maria, I'm a third year PhD student in the Eccles Institute of Neuroscience. My name is Brooke Kinsler, I'm an honours student here at the JCSMR under the Quinn Lab. Hi, I'm Nathan, um, I'm a third year PhD student in the Eccles Institute of Neuroscience and I'm also an HDR representative for the John Curtin School of Medical Research. Hi, I'm Angela Nicoli, I'm a third year PhD student here at JCSMR. I'm completing my PhD in the Eccles Institute of Neuroscience and in the Synaptic Mechanisms Lab. Hi, my name is Brianna and I'm a fourth year Bachelor of Genetics student doing honours here at John Kirk. I'm really passionate about treating autoimmunity. Autoimmunity is a disease where your immune cells start attacking your own body and this causes terrible symptoms like uh, type 1 diabetes, um, multiple sclerosis and severe gut pain. And so I'm really passionate about improving the treatments for patients so that hopefully autoimmunity won't be a disease for them anymore. I was introduced to medical research as one of the many subjects in my undergrad, which was really interesting and I wanted to look deep into it. That's when I came across that students in research tend to formulate their own creative hypotheses and get to test them the first hand, which was really amazing. And that's what motivated me to, you know, come into research and that's my passion. My biggest passion is basically understanding how the brain works and um, learning about all of the different ways in which the brain develops and the different processes that are involved in that. My biggest passion is genetics and human genetics research. It's still quite a rapidly evolving area and there's still a lot we don't know about. My research passion is brain development. So I think that one of the most interesting questions in science is how um, your body responds to your environment and helps your brain develop in response to this environment. So from the moment that you are born and you open your eyes, you're intaking huge amounts of sensory information, uh, which will ultimately lead to the individual that is you. And that to me is a very interesting concept and I really want to strive to understand that. Uh, probably the thing about science that interests me the most is the fundamental understanding of the, how the brain works. So uh, without understanding how the brain works in a normal healthy system, we can't really make too much um, progress in attempting to treat or possibly even cure diseases. So we need to, to understand how things work in a normal system to have that insight. I'm really passionate about genetics and human disease and the way in which biomedical research can help us better understand human diseases to hopefully have a better clinical outcomes. Uh, right now I'm looking at the mutations or the changes in the DNA of patients which don't occur in healthy people and might explain why they are so sick. But understanding how these changes in DNA affect their immune cells and also their general immune system and causes their disease could really help us in developing better targets for treatments. So platelets play an essential role in the formation of, um, in the formation of blood clots that prevent uh, excessive blood loss following any injury and their levels are tightly controlled in healthy, um, healthy people. Our lab focuses on understanding uh, what exactly controls the platelet levels in bloodstream of, in healthy people as well as in patients. My project is on understanding the way that neurons form connections during development and how certain factors, both external and internal, can affect that process. So my project in the big picture aims to help us better understand brain cancer in humans and we do this by characterising the genetics in models such as Drosophila, which are fruit flies, and we hope that this will provide pathways for better treatment for brain cancer. I'm looking at how a single receptor um, in the brain can influence the trajectory of brain development. So how influencing its activity or expression can alter the trajectory of the brain. So my research involves uh, looking at how neurotransmitters are replenished after the brain cells or neurons have released them. So we know how this happens for many different kinds of neurotransmitters. 
but strangely for the most abundant neurotransmitter in the brain, which is one called glutamate, we don't really understand how this happens. So that's what my research focuses on. My project uses Drosophila, the fruit fly, as a genetic model to better understand the genetics behind brain cancer. This is really important because we don't actually know the origin of brain cancer and treatment hasn't actually improved in the last 30 years. Um, so we're really lucky here at JCSMR because we have something called the Centre of Personalised Immunology, or the CPI, and this is an institute that recruits patients from around the world with autoimmunity. We have patients from Spain and China and Australia and what this does is it gives researchers like me and my lab access to their samples, so their DNA, so we can identify those mutations I was talking about and really understand why they're sick. I was just, I wanted to do my postgraduate <clears throat> in an institution which primarily focuses on research. That's why I chose ANU and part of my course I had a year-long master's re research course which that's when I was looking for places and came across the John Curtin School of Medical Science which has produced one of many Nobel laureates as well as several notable researchers. This was my golden snitch that I couldn't you know fail to grab. JCSMR has an excellent research environment including world leaders in all of the fields but especially in neuroscience and that's what really attracted me to come to JCSMR to do my PhD. Um, I chose to do my honours research at the JCSMR because it has state-of-the-art research facilities and coming from a bachelor's degree here at the ANU it was a really good program for transitioning from studying into research. So I chose JCSMR one because it's uh, very close to where I grew up so I grew up here in Canberra um, but also because the Neuroscience Institute is built off the back of a Nobel Prize so um, Sir John Eccles won the Nobel Prize in Physiology working on neuroscience and the department is his namesake. Um, there is a whole bunch of excellent researchers that have been drawn into this institute for its excellence in fundamental neuroscience, so that's really what drew me. Uh, there are a lot of really world-class researchers here at JCSMR and uh, our sort of department, the Eccles Institute of Neuroscience, is really well known around the world for its focus on electrophysiology. So that's where we record directly from brain cells, from neurons, and we can record their electrical um, changes in their electrical states. I chose JCSMR to do my honours year because I was lectured by a lot of the researchers here, and their lectures really informed me in the work they were doing as well as the resources available here, and that's why I applied to John Gurt. I think my favourite part of working here is the community. I'm very fortunate to be in an amazing lab, the Vinuesa lab, run by Corolla Vinuesa, and we have lots of students, postdocs, and um, technicians here that really make working in the lab exciting. And this is so important to me because it's when you have an interesting lab result that you get your passion for what you're doing every day, and this really helps us to reach our goal of trying to treat for the community. John Curtin has the facilities starting from, in, you know, RNA sequencing that at the molecular level to the best of imagination that's electron microscopy and we get to handle animals if we need and we just walk around expert, world experts. One example is when <clears throat> my, during my master's project I was looking for a specific dye and then my supervisor just points at a person walking across like oh he's the one who discovered and has characterized it which was really amazing and yeah that's just sums up my best part of the uh, research here. Yeah. My favourite part about being at John Curtin is the research environment that is consistent throughout the entire school. I love talking to people from the other departments and learning about what they're doing because it's so diverse and so interesting and I also love the special, the specialised field that we also have in the neuroscience department. My favourite part about being at the JCSMR is the fantastic sense of community and collaboration. We get countless opportunities for researchers to interact and share ideas and give feedback. I really like that we can approach complex problems from multiple angles. Um, so as a school of medical research rather than a single department in a single university, um, 
we have the ability to collaborate with a lot of different departments and a lot of different researchers um, and apply knowledge from areas which we may not have a comprehensive understanding in neuroscience and build that understanding from a different perspective. Um, I really love all the people here at JCSMR. They're a pretty amazing bunch of researchers and they're working on some amazing things, so I learn something new every day. My favourite part of John Curtin is the researchers and postdocs that we work with. Um, they really make me feel like my research is part of the bigger picture and the environment's really supportive and we feel like we're a part of the team. That's it. That's it. Cut. Yay!